Hi you guys. Gizmo did something to his leg in the night. I don't know if it was when he jumped off my bed because he slept with me all night long. But now he's got to go back to the vet. I called the vet hospital and they said I can bring him in um, Monday morning. And of course Sandy will be at work so I got to do it. And she's downtown selling today her crafts. So, uh, my life is just babysitting her dog, you guys. I don't want to take him anywhere injured because he can't, he can't walk on the foot. And I looked with a magnifying glass and a strong light while wearing my bifocals, and I can't see anything to see if, like, if he had a, a pricker in the bottom of his foot. But, you know, you guys, these pets, I'm telling you what, the cats alone cost a fortune in vet bills. He's already been seen um, yesterday. Now he's got to be seen again Monday. And this is why when people recommend to me to get a dog, I'm not taking that advice at all. I ignore people that tell me that. Why? Because I got Casey and uh, Lacey to look after and then their brother, JC, who comes up here on the porch at night and I feed him, that is their brother. So I don't know what's wrong with his paw, but he's only walking on his left front leg and not this leg. So the vet hospital is going to x-ray his foot and his leg to see what's wrong because I can't visually see what's wrong with his leg. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. But if you touch it or hold it, he yelps. So they have to x-ray it. And then if he ends up with a cast, I hopefully I'll be able to still walk him. I don't know, you guys. I wanted to work on that shelter today, but I can't, I can't leave him in the house where he's going to be going to the bathroom in the house. And I can't take him on a walk to take him to the woods. I'm stuck. I told Sandy, I says, you never should have got a dog until you retired. And I've never seen a dog with more issues than this one's got. I don't know why. He still won't eat anything. Even if I boil chicken, he doesn't want to eat it. The only way I could get him to down his pill, his medication this morning, it's a half a pill, and he has to take them until gone. I had to ball it up in a little bit of cheese, and he just licked it and licked it, and eventually he ate it. But he acted like he didn't even want the little ball of cheese that had the pill in it. So that's obviously the only way I'm going to be able to get him to take his meds is by putting cheese around his pill. Because he doesn't even chew anything, he just swallows things whole. But now I don't know what's wrong with his leg. So I can't take him on a walk. So all I can do is just like attach him to the railing out here on the leash. And I told Sandy, I, I told her, I says, I'm absolutely disgusted with you. Absolutely disgusted with her. To do this, to stick me with a dog. When she can go off and do her job, I can't do mine. Because I'm, I'm stuck with a dog that I didn't ask for. And, uh, and being that he's, he's not drinking, he's not eating, and if I take him in the van, he's going to get heated in the van, even if I have the windows down because the sun, you know, like if I have to get out and leave him, if he's not drinking his water, he's going to get dehydrated riding in the van. Or he may have an accident in the van, you know, going to the bathroom. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck here at home, you guys. I don't, I don't know what to do. You know, Sandy's always got to have her fucking way. I, I don't know what to do anymore, you guys. I told her I want her to move out, and she won't move out. And I guess I'm going to be have to be the one to go. I got to go down to the transfer station because every Saturday I take my garbage and recyclables, the cans, the plastic and everything to the trash because every Saturday Sandy goes downtown and sells her crafts. That's why I'm babysitting her dog. That's why I have to take the trash. That's why I'm the one that mows the lawn. That's why I'm the one that cleans the house, does the cooking, windexes the windows, does the laundry, does everything. Everything. And I even water her plants. All out back and all around the house. I need to live alone. No pets, no woman, just me. I need to live by myself. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.